If you're a waterfowl enthusiast and stay in the business long enough, you're gonna run into a situation that you can't line your dog directly by your side. Now that's the way we train all the time, I realize that. But we're gonna to have to move on to a situation where you have a blind like this that's solid and your dog is sitting remote. Will your dog understand how to handle that concept? Let's see how we train for it. First understand that remote sin and its basics is just steadiness and place training. So let's take a look. Here. Place. The dog is sent for a retrieve as the handler stands at a distance. The dog delivers to hand, then the dog returns to his place after delivery. When it's right on land, it's time to go to the water. As we move to the water, we're gonna add a bit of realism. We're gonna use dog hides, remote blind, it's with no holes in it, gotta be hidden in that blind, all brushed out, decoy spreads, add in some effects that they're gonna actually see on the hunt. Make it real as possible. We call it transitional training. The dog is steady to shot and fall. He has the mark. The handler sends the dog by name. He should recover the bumper, deliver the hand, then return to place and make ready for more action. All right, let's move on to another scenario. Let's say the dog doesn't see the bird go down. What about an unseen? What about a blind? He may have heard it, maybe he didn't even hear it. How are you gonna get the dog from that hide out to make that pick and be able to handle in a brushed out blind wearing camo? You're gonna to have to be seen and you're gonna to have to be heard. And it's another element to train for. Really, remote scent is just an element of steadiness, an extension of steadiness and place training. It's time to prepare. Duck Dog with Mike Stewart is presented by Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs.